There was once a leading citizen of Lombardy. The merchant. He's been in hell for two months since he got married. This fellow was prosperous, 60, and wifeless. Not that he abstained when he fancied a quick taster. And then, out of the blue, January, that's his name, decides he has to be married. I don't know if he got religion or was playing Gaga. Mm. Day and night, everywhere he goes, he watches out for a bride. Wedlock. It's so easy. It's so clean. She never stops, even if he's bedridden for the term of his natural. Not a day over 20. You can train a young one up like wax. Warm in your hand. It takes a truly outstanding citizen to take on such a young wife at your age. I'm only grey on top. I'm a spring fresh tree in blossom. White on top, sappy below. You have to ask yourself, is she a nagger? Does she spend your money? Does she hit the bottle? Can she control herself? Nothing but bills, bother, boredom with mine and nothing else. All your clever, clever talk. Man is cursed. You see, January's mind is in the clutches of a potent fantasy. He sits at home and thinks through all neighborhood virgins. But he was only allowed one. She was called May. He evicts the rest from his heart. I won't waste time on the settlement, the writs and contracts. They went to church. And then on to the wedding feast. Everyone came to the party, especially Venus, goddess of love. Everyone's happy for the couple, except one, Damien, one of January's young squires. <sighs> A viper in the master's nest, a treacherous blaze in the bedstraw. Why doesn't everyone just go? <laughs> a man can't hurt himself with his own knife. <laughs> can't sin with his own wife. And so he labors until the break of day. Somebody's a come. In loud now sing cuckoo, sing cuckoo. <laughs> and Damien, dying of desire, can only write his grief into a letter for her. Too ill to serve his master. Have mercy. She finds somewhere private and memorizes every word. Some women are tyrants with hearts of stone who'd leave him to die. Not May. She agrees to grant him a share of her favours given time and place. Now January, he owns this walled garden, but he alone holds the key. I doubt there's ever been such a magnificent garden. Even the gods Pluto and Proserpina play there. <laughs> but Lady Luck, you're a slippery scorpion. You lead him on only to... I'm blind. I'm blind. <laughs> After a couple of months, he finds a way to live with him. But she never goes anywhere, anytime, unless his hand is on her. He could see as far as a ship on the horizon and still not see enough. Blind or deceived, they're all the same. Once May gets hold of that key, Damien, he knows what to do. <coughs> I know I'm jealous, but I die on the dagger's blade before I ever hurt you. 
put me in the sack and chuck me in the river if ever I bring scandal on you or my family. <laughs> anyway, it's men are always putting it about. Women. Strumpets, the lot of them. The moment that wife starts any funny business, husband's going to know. You think so? A man can see things with both eyes open and a woman can still face him dying. I'm warning you. Look at those pears. Oh, I'll die if I don't have one. You know, women in my condition. What we need is a boy to climb up. You just take hold here. I'll, I'll just... <sighs> <sighs> Ladies, I'm sorry, what can I say? I'm a basic sort of bloke. They, you know, he... May? May? <laughs> you slut! What are you doing up there? just cured your blindness. This is what they prescribed. Me, to wrestle with a man in a tree. Wrestle? Wrestle? I'm not an idiot! Um, uh, um... And this is the thanks I get for restoring your sight. Huh? Think! When you wake up in the morning, you only get outlines of things. It's all hazy, isn't it? It'll take a day or two. <laughs> Careful. Men are always saying they've seen things, and it's nonsense. Silly old men. Is January happier now? At least he's got a son and heir. Someone's son, his heir. If you ask me, a man ought to think twice before he invites someone to share his hearth and home. Hey?